Welcome back and as we earlier said, the university's week for challenges of disabilities. What are the challenges that could encounter people with disabilities? Uh, disabilities may vary. It's not specific from uh, one person to the other. And also, people with disabilities are gifted with other talents. They are uh, genius, uh, they are uh, uh, respected, uh, uh, they have uh, uh, different characteristics that could qualify them for jobs or uh, for uh, special uh, uh, positions <laughs> that normal people usually wouldn't be able to uh, um, occupy. Uh, we're going to be uh, talking about this in this segment, and we have with us live over the phone Dr. Ahmed Sabr al Mahsi, the language lecturer at the Faculty of Arts, Manhur University. Good morning, Dr. Al Mahs. Good morning, dear. Good morning. Good morning. A beautiful day to you, and let's first uh, shed light over the university's week for challenges of disabilities. Uh, how would you define it, and tell us the story about it in your university? Okay. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome uh, uh, to uh, greet greet all of you and uh, all the spectators. And uh, in fact, uh, University of Domanhur gives a great care to people with disabilities. Uh, students who are talented, uh, whether uh, sports-wise or uh, socially or whatever. Uh, Professor Dr. Abed, the president of the university, uh, gives great care to students of dis with disabilities um, and uh, to their activities, both inside the university and outside. Uh, the last week of uh, people with disabilities in Egyptian universities, we have achieved uh, a lot of positions, actually. Uh, third place in swimming, uh, the student Ahmed Mayer Khalifa. Third place in uh, uh, the, the ideal student, uh, the student Balir Abdel Nabi Zidane. Third place in discus in athletics. Uh, and third place in uh, discus again in athletics but setting position. And uh, first place in bell bow for the blind students a team which consists of uh, Mustafa Khalid Mustafa, Muhammad Muhammad al Ahmed Sabal Mahmoud, Muhammad Maher Muhammad, uh, and uh, the trainer, the general trainer is uh, Mahmoud Yassin. Uh, this is uh, concerning uh, sports. But the university also gives a great care to uh, social activities. And uh, we try as much as we can, as hard as we can, to achieve a kind of inclusion, inclusion for students of disabilities, with disabilities, both inside the university and outside, because we have activities outside the borders of the university, uh, socially, uh, trying to give um, uh, all people with disabilities, uh, not only uh, students, uh, a kind of social, uh, social uh, service for people outside. Uh, most of the people with the students are uh, in uh, the Faculty of Arts. And that's why we have uh, established a center to serve uh, them, uh, specifically people with, this, uh, with uh, uh, side disabilities, blind people. Uh, we have a lot of activities in, in this center, uh, braille uh, reading, uh, hearable material. We take the, just the syllabus, syllabus from uh, teachers and lecturers and they'll try to record them in order to enable them to, to study hard. Uh, we also try to change uh, uh, the, the ordinary reading into braille reading for uh, the blind. Uh, we also have reading teams, uh, volunteers from uh, ordinary students coming to read to their colleagues from uh, blind or of blind uh, students. Uh, uh, these are the activities that we, we, we care about in the Manhur University. And we are, uh, uh, let's say, pioneer in this. We have uh, made a lot of activities uh, such as uh, conferences, uh, seminars, symposia, uh, dealing with uh, the issue of disability in general, not just uh, inside uh, university. Sir, when it comes to inclusion, um, we all know that one of the main challenges for inclusion is the awareness among people, among the public. It's not only about uh, people with disabilities. The idea that we need to work more on the uh, acceptance, 
whether we are talking about schools, whether we are talking about universities, uh, accepting the behavior of people with disabilities, they suffer a lot also from this part. So what are we doing in this respect, especially among students who are typically developed, how they can accept them, accept them as they are, not by just because we all know we have the parents, they are working a lot for behavior, for attitude, just to be accepted in the society. But we need to learn how to accept them as they are. Yes, okay. One of the challenges, one of the problems actually which uh, we face uh, in the issue of inclusion uh, is the culture of people. Uh, most people in society consider disability as a kind of defect, let's say something which is missing uh, in, in our bodies, uh, eye, leg, uh, whatever. Um, uh, this is the great challenge, this is the, the, the main challenge that we uh, face in the process of inclusion. Uh, we work on this. We try to change people's view concerning the, the disability. Uh, we try to consider it a kind of uh, human diversity. Uh, people may differ in their color of hair, in their uh, uh, color of eye, color of skin, and so on. We try to put disability in this uh, in this respect. It's a kind of uh, uh, human diversity. Uh, also, we try to give a message to society that people with disabilities are citizens. They have all the rights and they have also all the duties. They can be effective, they can be uh, productive, they can uh, be distinguished, they are talented, they can do their job uh, more effectively even than other uh, people. Uh, we try to give this message. and. Uh, uh, actually speaking, we have uh, achieved a great success uh, due to uh, the care that uh, the political leadership represented in President Abdel Fattah al Sisi uh, gives to uh, the, the case or the issue of disability and people with disabilities. And not only this, he also dedicated a whole year, uh, 2018, to be uh, for uh, disability and people with disabilities uh, like. Uh, 2016 was the year of um, uh, young people and 2017 was the year of women. women. Uh, 2018 was, by, was dedicated by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to people with disabilities. Uh, uh, and we have the culmination, the culmination of this care was represented in a very precious low, uh, it, it's known as the low number 10 to uh, year 2018 or what is uh, known in the media as uh, the law of the rights of people with disabilities. Uh, actually speaking, it, it depends on uh, two uh, factors, uh, changing the awareness of people towards uh, people with disabilities with uh, the aim of trying to include them in, in a correct way in society. Uh, uh, this is uh, one point. Another point is uh, that, that so many services uh, and the merit advantages that the law gives to people with disabilities. Uh, so doing, we try to change the idea. We, we try to change people's perspective, people's uh, view concerning disability and people with disabilities. Right. Uh, Dr. Ahmed Sabr al Mahsi, you are a language lecturer at uh, the Faculty of Arsta Manhuri University. We'd like to thank you, sir, very much and a good day to you. Thank you so much and we're going to go to a short break and we'll come to resume the breakfast show so stay with us.